All right, that's right. Happy Tuesday. Guess what? In six days is Christmas is upon us. So we want to get Santa to come to our house. That's why we're going to make a brandied lobster penne pasta dish. You'll have plenty of time to make this before Christmas, so you might have to make it a couple times just so you can perfect it. First, we're gonna do uh, lobster tails in the shell. What I did was I released them from the shell just a bit so that later when we go to eat them, boom, pop them right out. We're going to uh, scent this brandied lobster penne with uh, caramelized onions, sun-dried tomatoes. We're gonna finish it with a little bit of heavy cream and a whole lot of Merry Christmas. So what do you say we uh, go kiss Santa Claus? All right, hot pan. You know the drill, a little bit of oil. A little bit more. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the lobster with, I cut them in half. We're gonna put the flesh side down. We wanna put just a little bit of color on it. And then we're gonna flip it so that we cook the shells. That'll give us a little nutty flavor. Lobster stock, baby. Lobsters are delicate. We don't want to overcook them. We just want to put a little bit of color on it because we're going to make a pan sauce. So they're going to be cooking in the pan with the sauce the whole time. See how nicely they released? Make it easier for you to eat and give you the aesthetics of a delicious presentation. My favorite nine-letter word, delicious. So we're going to roast the shells just a second bring out a little nuttiness. Then we're gonna hit it with a little garlic. You garlic you, whatever, however much garlic you want, go ahead. Saute the garlic real fast. We're gonna hit it with the caramelized onions, sun-dried tomatoes. As you can see, I'm putting everything in the middle because I'm still trying to cook the lobsters a little bit. And now, heads up cameraman, boozy December is about to get en fuego. So, we're gonna burn up some brandy. While that's burning down the alcohol, me and you is gonna burn one up. All right, so we burn out the alcohol. Now that the liquid's in the pan, we can move around the good stuff in the middle of it. We're gonna take our heavy cream. Actually, I lied. We're gonna take a little bit of lobster stock first. Plus you want a little background flavor of lobster. We're gonna put a shot of heavy cream. That's gonna give us that nice richness. Eat, balance out all the flavors. A touch of salt, turn a pepper, or two, or three, or one more. I cooked the pasta al dente. Al dente means it still has a bite to it. If you look, you can still see the starch on the inside of the pan egg. And of course, you can use linguine, spaghetti, fettuccine, rotelli, cavatappi. You pick it, your pasta, your Christmas, your dinner. Once this gets going, we're gonna add our pasta. We want it a little loose because the pasta is gonna soak up the juice while it thickens, reducing and thickens all at the same time. Get the pasta noodles all in there nice so that it soaks up all that juice. It's turn me up a little bit. See our lobsters are nice and white and cooked. We want to cook, we don't overcook. Give a little taste. Sweet, creamy, lobstery. When the bubbles get thick, the pasta's ready to go to the plate. It's, it's telling me it's ready. So we're gonna give it a little stir. We're gonna scoop out the pasta onto our plate. Just move the little babies around. Get all the stuff, all the veggies and such. We're gonna hit it with some edible flowers, marigolds, some scallions, of course. Looking like Christmas to me. And then we're gonna dazzle them with the lobster tails. Let me get a little bit in the middle there so you know what we're eating. Some more stuff. And all the sauce. If you can't get Santa to come to your house for this, then you've been a bad, bad person. 
Merry Christmas, everybody.